Okay, so we're here to talk about green marketing. Uh, let me do this. I'll tell you a little bit about my background so you know who I am, and then uh, I want to hear a couple of stories about what you all are doing. I'm the president of a firm called J. Ottman Consulting. It's a company that I founded in 1989 after spending 12 years in major advertising agencies here in New York, learning about strategy and new product introductions. And the opportunities the are big. There is a $290 billion U.S. market for green consumer goods, and it's growing fast. So we're talking about personal health, organic foods, natural lifestyles like seventh generation and method cleaning products. And in your industry, uh, 2007, the latest number I came up with, uh, you probably know these numbers much better than me, sustainable apparel, $3 billion a year, the Nikes and the Patagonias, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, the lensing uh, products made out of lensing fibers and organic cotton growing at 20% a year. Now, how many people in this room are now engaged in this marketplace in some way? Okay, can you give me a couple of examples of things that you're doing? Yes, ma'am. I work for a control union certification, and we do organic fair trade Organic certification. We'll be talking about that in a few minutes. Terrific. Who else is doing something in this marketplace? Sir, in the back? Fantastic, that's a new one. Okay, fabrics made, rescued from, from landfills, recycled fabrics. Who else is doing something, yes? Okay, so other opportunities. So you've all discovered the opportunity to exploit a new green marketplace and various segments. We'll talk a little bit more about the segments in a few minutes. But there's also opportunities to improve product quality. Because many, many, and there's a reason why the green marketplace is taking off right now, and that's because the quality is now there. Contrast this to 20 or so years ago when I got started, the CFL light bulbs sputtered in cast green haze. The natural cleaning products didn't work properly as a result of the, uh, uh, you know, after the phosphate scare, those products didn't work. But now the quality has, 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 has caught up. Many people buy a Toyota Prius because they like the way the car drives, for instance. Uh, this is also an opportunity to enhance brand equity. Consumers are looking for greener products. They feel better about those products, so you can give your products a brand, a nice green and solid halo. There's an opportunity to innovate with all the new materials, the new types of designs that you're seeing, and also increase profits, whether it was historically from efficiencies because of what was called pollution prevention and saving money behind energy efficiencies and cutting down on waste by using your patterns and your materials more efficiently, or because of the higher margins, particularly if you have a health claim to, to make or any other kind of a, a softer uh, hand on your materials, et cetera, or whether the, the, the materials take a better dye, these things enhance margins.